Right now, it's the best of Groucho. And here he is, the one, the only... <laughs> again with a veritable fortune for our couples to shoot at tonight. Each of them can win up to $10,000, and if anybody says the secret word, they'll win an extra hundred smackers. And this is the word right here. Okay, Ducky, on your way. Uh, Groucho, uh, Joyce DeHart is wanting to talk to you now. Joyce Hart. My heart stood still. And her partner is a special guest, one of the most popular young men in America, Frankie Avalon. So vote you in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Beautiful babe there. Hi, Groucho. Welcome to the Groucho Show. Say the secret word, you can divide an extra hundred dollars. Well, I know your name. Your name is Frankie Avalon. And Joyce DeHart, huh? Mm-hmm. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, yeah, very lovely. Huh? Imagine Frankie Avalon, uh, Avalon on my show. <laughs> you know, I'm all a flutter. I can't even pronounce his name correctly. You know, it isn't every week that we get a famous celebrity up here. And I want to tell you, this is one of the biggest moments in the history of this show. This will give you an idea of the show. <laughs> Now then, Frankie boy, you don't care if I call you Frankie boy, huh? No. Since I never heard of you, tell me just what do you do? Well, I'm a singer. You're a singer. You, right. you mean you're a sewing machine? No. Uh, singer of songs. Oh. Did you ever hear that joke about a fellow looks through the key and he says, I just saw a sewing machine going upstairs without a stitch on? That's an old joke. <laughs> Joyce, you're not supposed to laugh at that. <laughs> you're just a hard, huh? Yes, sir. Have you ever heard of Frankie Avalon? I sure have. <laughs> Why are you breathing so hysterically? Man? Okay, what does he do? He sings. Sings. I thought that. We've been all through that. What, 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 where does he sing? Uh, well, he sings in records, on radio, on TV, in movies, nightclubs, everywhere. Do you buy a lot of his records? Yeah? Well, I'm sort of broke lately, so I've been buying Kingston Trio. <laughs> You're trying to get three for the price of one, is that it? <laughs> well, Frankie, now you know how I feel when I ask somebody what their favorite TV show is, and they say the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, don't you care for Frankie singing? Oh, you sure bet I do. Um, especially like Venus, because it was a very I simple I like Venus, ballad, too, but right? do you like his singing? <laughs> how many records did it sell, that uh, Venus? That was, that was probably my biggest recording. It sold uh, two million records. It was number one for 11 weeks in a row. Magic record. Yeah. How many of your records have been sold all together? All total, I, I would say about uh, eight million records. That's not bad for a young fella on his way down. <laughs> I mean, up. Do you personally answer all your fan mail, Frankie? Well, I try to do as much as I can, Mr. Marks, but... Uh, Pretty hard, isn't it? It is, from traveling and everything. Yeah. But we have four girls in Philadelphia who take care of the fan club, and four girls in New York who... That, that's all they do is just take care of the fan club. You have eight girls who do nothing but answer your mail? Right. Your stab is bigger than my fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, Frankie and I have been talking about our successes, and I want to be perfectly fair. What kind of success have you had? I'm sure you're a big success with the boys because you're a very attractive girl. Could I come over to your house someday and bring you a care package? <laughs> well, um... You look pretty well fed, but, uh, you know... <laughs> oh, you I give am. It I need all the time. Huh? <laughs> You're very, what do you do, uh, uh, Joyce, I mean, in the way of uh, achievements? Uh, what have you done? Well, as far as achievements go, I What was... kind of success have you had? I was made Miss Junior Achievement this year. In the United States? Of the United States and Canada. In Canada? Uh -huh. <laughs> Your Miss Junior achievement? That's a very high honor, Joyce, and you're certainly to be congratulated. Thank you. Now, what are you talking about? <laughs> Would you mind breaking that down into small words? Just what is this Junior achievement? Junior oh, achievement is a youth organization for business, where teenagers learn business. Look how uh, he admires you. Look how he's looking at you. Huh? <laughs> well... Uh, <laughs> Aren't you flattered the way he's watching you, huh? Um, I'm not looking. <laughs> Yes. We're a nationwide organization, and um, actually teenagers form their own businesses guided by ma major corporations. Isn't she cute, huh? Lovely. And we get our own products, 
and we sell our own products and we have a board of stockholders and we have our monthly board me meetings and at the end of the junior achievement year we actually liquidate our company and we declare profits we hope <laughs> and that's junior achievement learning business by doing isn't she pretty <laughs> you say you operate just like big business in other words you all get together in a little room and fix the prices uh, <laughs> What kind of product do you make? Uh, we have these little um, mosaic tile coasters, and we actually make them, and we sell them. And uh, we go to retail organizations and banquet people and restaurants, things like that. How much do you make in a week? What would you say you total? About a dollar and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's your gross income, huh? Yes. Now, you have to deduct withholding tax, don't you, and state income tax, <laughs> unemployment insurance, social security, real estate taxes, sewer tax, and union dues. <laughs> You know, you have to work about six years in order to buy one Frankie Al Al Avalon album. That's why I haven't, couldn't buy them. <laughs> oh. Frankie, don't you think you ought to give her one of your albums? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you an album. Well. Yeah. Give her a yeah. couple of them, huh? I will. Thank you. We haven't found out much about your personal history. Where are you from originally, Frankie? Well, I was born and raised in South Philadelphia. That's where uh, most of the singers come from today. And even years ago, too, it started with... Singers? Yeah, Eddie Fisher, Mario Lanza, uh, Jimmy Darren, Bobby Rydell, Fabian. Well, how do you explain so many singers coming from one section of the city? Is it because they don't produce any ball players there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, you know, before, uh, mothers used to meet on the street and they used to say, uh, how's your son doing? And they'd say, fine. But now they, they meet on the streets and they say, how's your son's record doing? Everybody's recording South Philadelphia. Well, it was like that where I came from. My mother would say to another, how's your son's record? <laughs> How about the movies, Frankie? Aren't you working on some picture? Well, I just finished a picture. It's uh, Irwin Allen's Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Oh, Voyage to the Bottom Fantastic of the Sea. Fantastic submarine huh? that goes... It's an airplane picture? No, it's a submarine. Oh. Bottom of the Sea. Submarine that has uh, a glass nose and is so many things happen with uh, underwater adventures. Oh, and you're in there? Well, how can you sing underwater? Have you got a new record coming out called Glub, Glub, Glub or something? <laughs> how about your plans for marriage, Frankie? I'm sure that's pretty inquisitive, but there must be millions of girls who'd like to marry you. What kind of girl are you looking for? A junior achievement girl? Well, actually, I, I don't have any no immediate preference. plans. You know? I mean, do you have any particular type that well, you care about? Blondes or brunettes or short ones? It's like that ones? old saying, you know, uh, I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad. I want a girl that can... You want a girl uh, like your mother, huh? Fine, somebody you want a girl that like could your mother? cook great. You, My you're crazy about food. Huh? Learn how to cook, yes. Brazil. That's all? You don't care if she's ugly? As long as she can... What's Brazil? That's a, a country in, Braz in South America. <laughs> oh, no, that's an Italian dish that's what is it? prepared. It's uh, meat rolled up and... and it's, it's like lasagna? Prepared. No, it's a meat. Meat stuffed and rolled in the uh, like Italian sauce. It's great. You ought to try it. That's all that's going to make you happy is meatballs and spaghetti. <laughs> I can make it. There you are. Right. right. Oh. Imagine getting a girl that looks like that who can also make meatballs and spaghetti. But I can't make the other stuff. Oh. You could lie in, Joyce. Right. You have to give me the recipe. <laughs> Would you give her the recipe? I don't know. I'll ask my mother. Though. <laughs> you don't know the recipe. Will you write to your mother? And ask her to send Joyce the recipe. I All think right. I'll do and that. put it in one of the record albums, huh? Okay. Oh. Rajo, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you ought to do would be nice? It record it. You get the uh, recipe from your mother. Yeah. Record it on a little record. Right. And with the records, you're going to send her. I do. Put the little record. Little record. And after there. she learns how to make Brazo, Right. I can sell it. <laughs> Here I thought she was seething with passion. All she wants to do is sell a uh, spaghetti uh, recipe. Well, no, look, you don't sing in the picture, but I can't let you get away without singing here. Would you sing something for us? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't mind singing if uh, we do a duet. <laughs> he reminds, you know who he reminds me of when he talks? Harry Como. He's got a kind of real soft, kind of barber-like quality. Uh. <laughs> well, what are we saying? What are some of your big numbers? 
Well, would you like to do You know, that? my idea of a popular song is break the news to mud up in the Spanish-American War. <laughs> How about uh, from Bobby Sachs' stockings? You know that? I never heard that. You're not talking to Ricky Nelson here. <laughs> or even Francis X. Bushman. How about doing one I know, like, I wish that I could shimmy like my sister Kate. <laughs> or I'll buy the ring and change your name to mine. You know I that? No, I, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you. What do you know? Look, we've never gone to get together. Isn't there some song that was popular Why don't we 25 do, uh, years ago that is having a revival today? I can't give you anything but love. But Frankie, you're the wrong sex. <laughs> okay, tear loose. I can't give you anything but love. What key do you like? Uh, uh, e flat. E flat. E, e flat. Baritone. E yeah. Flat. Well, you sing the first chorus. Right. Okay. And then I'll join you and ruin it. Two choruses. <laughs> Mr. Meekin? Tag ending. I okay. can't give you anything but love. Right. Anything but love, baby, that's the only thing I've plenty of, baby. You dream a while, scheme a while, you're sure to find happiness. And I guess all those things you've always planned for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell, baby. Diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell, my little baby, until that lucky day. You know darn well, baby, I can't give you anything but love. Okay. I can't give you anything but love. Baby. Baby. Oh. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Baby, you dream a while and scheme a while. You're sure to find happiness, and I guess take it. All those things you always find for. Gee, baby. I'd like to see you looking swell, baby. Yeah, baby. Diamond bracelets won't work, doesn't sell. Go, go, my baby. I feel that lucky day, you know darn well, baby. I can't give you anything. I can't give you anything. Yeah, I can't give you anything but love. Frankie? Good. Are you ready to play the quiz? Well, uh, Mr. Marsh, I, I would say that... Call me Groucho, will you? Okay. And I'll Groucho. call you Mr. Adelon. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I would like for some young fellow to come up and take the, uh, my place here for the quiz because it makes some extra money. And... Oh, well, that's okay. very nice of you. I, uh, I think there's a sailor out in the audience there. Someone that's good in spelling. Hey, sailor. Come on up, sailor, if you can still walk. <laughs> Sailor, I want you to meet uh, Mr. Hart. Hi. This is uh, Sailor Beware. Is that your name? No. And Mr. Avalon. What is your name? Mine's El Costo. El oh. Costo, huh? Are you Italian? Italian? Half. Half? Yeah, Which half? half? Can Better you speak half. Italian? No. No. Well, come on. Come on, now. You get in here, huh? You get in here where Frankie is, huh? Right. Then Frankie, I'll... thanks for being on the show, and I hope you win an Academy Award this year for your acting job in Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Produced by Irwin Allen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> now, let's see how much money you can win in the quiz. George, come out here. What category have they chosen? Uh, you selected spelling, right? Right. Right. Now, you, you give, give them all the help you, you can, Joyce, you know. <laughs> you, you, you pick the first one, Joyce. You know how to play the game, huh? Yes, I do. No, no. We don't learn spelling in the Navy, though, Groucho. Oh. You, don't know, you don't know how to spell in the Navy? No, we just learn how to fight. Uh -oh. Oh. Well, didn't you ever have a sick spell when you were in the Navy? We didn't learn. Uh... No, well, okay. Start off with the 200? All right. Okay. Thank you. For $200, spell the word phlegmatic, meaning composed or calm. Phlegmatic, P-H-L-E-G-M-A-T-I-C. Give him the money. Oh. Right. 
No matter what happens, you've got $200. Right. So you're on your way with a pretty good start. Uh, what do you think? Let's try it again. Okay. Two. All right. You know, you've got to win five to get a chance at the big money. Right. right. For $200, spell the word trousseau, meaning a bride's outfit. Trousseau. That's Robinson Trousseau. <laughs> okay, kids, come on. You've got to come now. Yes, um... Here we go. Trousseau. T R U. S-U-S-E? No, it's T-R-O-U-S-S-E-A-U. That's well, a that tough was one. <laughs> well, how are you going to get married if you can't spell trousseau? Oh. You better, you you better brush up on that, uh, okay. Joyce. Come on. You got Two more to go. Two more chances to make $500. You only need five. It can be done. Take a 300. 200. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Would it help you to write it down, the word? Yes, like... School. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, <clears throat> shoot. <laughs> Don't say shoot. He's in the Navy. <laughs> but two hundred dollars. Spell the word exceed, meaning to agree. That's good enough. A C C E D E. You're right. You got four hundred dollars. And one more chance to make a total of five. The $100 ones are easier than the two, and the two are easier than the three, and you only really need 100. Uh, and that's <laughs> good thinking. Good coaching. Good coaching. <laughs> For $100, spell the word genealogy, meaning a family pedigree. Genealogy. Um, G E N E A O L O G Y. Genie. G E N. Go on. A O L O G Y. Oh. Spell it. Spell it there. G E N E A O L O G Y. That's right. G E N E A L O G Y. She has an extra O. When? Unfortunately. Where? G E N E A L. Say the O there. G E N E A L O G Y. Oh, 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 oh,
For $200, what is the South American word that is lighter than cork? Talk it over. Talk it over. Balsam wood. Balsa, balsa. Balsa, I guess. Balsa. Well, anyhow, you won $500. Six Wait a minute, six yeah. minutes. And you'll also be back in a minute to try for the big question. Groucho, uh, Carol Briscoe and Harry Ruby earn $600 in the quiz. So here they are all set to try for two, five, or $10,000. Well, all right. You pick a number for $10,000. Uh, nine. Nine. You pick a number for five. Seven. Seven. Now, if any other number but these two comes up, this question is worth a total of 2,000. Now, you spin the wheel. Go on. Dismissed it by a hair's breadth. Your numbers were seven to nine, it landed on six, so here we go for a total of two. One answer between you. When President Kennedy organized his new cabinet in early 61, he created a new post of ambassador at large. For a total of $2,000, whom did he appoint to this new position? Talk it over. What's the answer? Stevenson? No, no, he's in the United Nations. It's Averill Harriman. And he used to be a friend of mine. I'm sorry you missed it, but you still have how much? Six hundred. Well, it's not a bad night's work. No. A fellow just came down to get a free meal. <laughs> Congratulations and thanks for being with us. And Harry, I'll see you again sometime, huh? Nice to see you again.